the planet you are being sent to is not a paradise. Desolation stretches to the horizon of treacherous landscapes and radioactive areas. But amidst the harshness, secrets lie buried, precious, abundant resources. into forests, toxic lakes into clear waters. And behold, the once hostile world will be a new Eden. Not just for you, but for all of humanity. So guys, welcome to Eden Crafters. Welcome to the video, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're on a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. New objective. First steps. Learning the basics. Welcome to the demo version of Eden Crafters. This game is still in early development and so you might encounter bugs or unfinished systems. We'd love to hear your feedback. Okay. I appreciate that. There are some materials in your spaceship's inventory. Transfer them to your own inventory tab. Okay. So we just go in here, press tab. Grab these items. Shift click maybe. Yeah, that works. So we have iron plates, cement, food box and oxygen capsules. We have no energy right now, so... We can see we can kind of jump in this and hold to control it and accelerate so we can fly around the planet which is kind of cool but we don't have any uh energy for it okay so we can start grabbing some iron ore this is very very planet crafter vibes right now like you can just see the ore everywhere on the ground let's grab some copper grab some iron because when i'm looking at this I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I recognize that, but it's not, because this is technically copper. <laughs> oh, is this actually a node over here? It is. This is where we can put our miners down. And we got quartz as well. I'm kind of looking forward just to seeing how this game develops, because, you know, if we can do factory stuff in this, that's going to be kind of cool. I'm just looking in the bottom corner now. We can see we've got a temperature gauge, we got a health, we got battery, and I'm guessing that's all too. Do I have to go inside my... Um, uh, ship to get oxygen back. We do. Okay. Our stamina bar goes up pretty quick as well. Now the question is, is what can we do in here? Build menu. A living compartment. Iron plates and cement. Furniture for a workbench. We need to get some rocks. Okay. So let's put this down. Let's put you down. And it's got easy snapping onto it. Top side. It also gives us a door. Oxygen inside. And then I guess we try and aim for a workbench, right? So we need to find some rocks, which most of this, what we've I found so far is just iron and copper. Is that a cave up there? Hello, friendly. It's sulfur. It is a cave. So we've got sulfur as well. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can I... Wait, your first of base, build the living compartment, which we already have been doing. Oh, so we can actually, it is a voxel based world. So we can actually mine with the multi-tool as well. Interesting. Okay, cool. Because I was kind of running around and I was looking at the ground and I was like, this is very voxel based. We can kind of mine it out. That's pretty cool. I like that. Allows us to come up with some designs or, you know, oh, oxygen's low again. Get inside. Wait, I'm curious. Oh, hold a minute. 30 and 19. You actually get rock from the ground. Okay, that's simple enough then. Uh, so we have a kitchen. We do have a workbench, which we can kind of place at snapping points on the, along the foundation. We'll place you down. And inside here, we can then start making the iron ingots from the iron we've got. Start making plates, iron rods, copper ingots, copper plates, cements, silica. Silica comes from quartz. I'm not going to lie. This looks very familiar. <laughs> so we can make some ingots. And then from there, we can make plates. We can make rods. Uh, we can make some copper ingots. Or copper ore, sorry. And then we can make some copper plates from the ingots. And cement comes from rocks. Can I just... Yeah, I can just hold this. We can also pin recipes as well. Okay. New build recipe, a miner. Hell yeah. 
iron plates and cement. So now I can put this. This is a tiny little thing. I'm going to try and put it on this little iron ore here. Do I have to take this little top piece off? Okay, I'll just kind of just put this straight on here. Yeah. Literally doing its thing. So this is kind of very similar to a portable miner. So if we can find a copper node as well, which maybe there's one around here, we can put another one of these down. So I can come back here and just grab some iron ore. And then maybe eventually we'll put down a miner and start putting some conveyor belts from it. Okay, so it looks like we've got a, another iron node over here. Another large iron deposit. But it looks like we've got a quartz one over there. So I'm going to put a drill on that. So we can kind of get that going. Even though, like, yeah, there's a lot around us. Like, I might as well just get it up and running, right? Oh, what is that? Oh, a forge. Let's put this on here real quick. There we go. Start making that. And now we've got an objective. Your living compartment needs electric panel to support more equipment. Craft the necessary parts. Okay. Let's head back to base, get some oxygen, and have a look at this crafting panel. So the electric panel needs one iron plate and two cable. We can also add another door. Okay. You know, the kitchen and we've also got just additional walls so i'm just wondering if i go into the craft bench here let's just make some more ingots make some more plates make some additional rods and then i need more copper ingots which i'm not seeing any more ore veins for it but let's grab the iron from here let's extend the base a little bit further okay so these can only hold 30 and then let's go into the build menu and extend our base a little bit okay so it doesn't automatically give you a, a room to the side of it, unless it's because it wasn't attached properly. Ah, it's because you want to look at the side, not place it down like a... There we go. Okay. So now let's look at this. So we need cables. So we need to get some more copper. So let's get some of that. And then let's have a look what we can do with the electrical box. So one copper, two, three, four, five. Okay. I've got quite a bit there. And even from what I can see, I'm not seeing any copper nodes. And I, I don't know if the world is procedurally generated or if any everybody kind of lands here. So if you do try Eden Crafters, I'll put a link for the demo in the description below. Let me know if you guys spawn at this same location right here. Or if you've already played it. You might know the answer straight away. So let's make some copper ingots from what we got. Let's make two crafting uh, cable. Then let me just break down all this iron we've got as well. Make some more plates. Make a few more rods. And let's just make all the cement from the rocks as well. Okay, so we should now be able to make the electrical panel. So this is a full size part of the room. What can we do with this? You can extend your base by placing another live compartment side by side. We've just got loads of new recipes as well. We now have wind turbines. Produces electrical uh, electricity at 7 megawatts. We've also got fern and more assembly bench, a plant grower, a trash can, a table, a desktop, a crate so we can store some things. We've got some foundations, a roof fence, blocks as well. And we got glass. We've got wood textures so we can kind of build like, if you wanted to, not one of these kind of buildings. Very similar to space engineers. So I'm going to make another compartment here. I'm going to put that on the end just because it's telling me to exp extend the, uh, you know, the base as an objective. Hence the reason we're getting this stuff now. So now, new objective, equipment. Crafting some more complex items. Before you can create more advanced machines, you'll need some new equipment. Use the build menu to place a plant grower. Okay, so I need some quartz and I need some rocks. Okay, let's go and get the quartz, which we can grab from our little miner over there. Pick up you, and I might as well while I'm here grab these and what's this oh that's cobalt well i might as well pick that up and whilst i'm running i say running but walking might as well just make a little trail and a beeline towards the base to get some rock i'm curious how the temperature is gonna get involved with the game as well ah uh, okay so the battery charge down in the bottom left is not just your stamina it's also your uh your build your multi-tool as well so when you use the multi-tool, that goes down. So I'm going to guess we're going to get some battery upgrades, possibly. Okay, so back at base, we can't obviously do anything with quartz. We can make silica, we can make glass panels, oxygen capsules as well, which we already have two of them. But we want to make a plant grower. So we can kind of stick you... It's going to stick you here. Okay. 
Build an assembly bench will allow you to craft advanced parts, machines and items. Okay, machine parts, which I need gears and cable. So I don't think I can make any more. No, I can't. I can't make any more of that. I can make gears because that needs rods. But I only can make one of them. So I need to get some more iron. And it's going nighttime as well. Have I got a flashlight? I do. So let's get some iron. I'm going to need some more copper. And copper seems to be very sparse compared to everything else. Maybe because I've not come across a miner for it yet. What's this big rock over here? The question is, is it just a rock or is it actually a node? Maybe it's just somewhere I can get stone from, maybe? Nope, it's just a rock. But I was <laughs> destroying the rock behind it, the ground behind it. Oh, my oxygen's low again. Can't travel that far. I need to either get an oxygen tank or, or something so I can travel a bit further. Because all I'm doing right now is trying to grab copper from... Hopefully I don't die instantly with oxygen. And we're going to need food to actually get our health up, right? I'm going to guess. But anyhow, I've got a few coppers. So let's make uh, some more ingots. Make two of you. Um, and then I need more iron, right? So we're going to need to make some more iron ingots. Make some more iron rods. Which allows me to make more gears. And then I should be able to make this uh, assembly bench. Which is kind of big. Oh, okay. So you press, you rotate it with R. And it spins on like a f maybe 10 degree axis. This place is definitely, we need to put power down. New craft recipe. So we got, uh, if we go into here now, we can make circuit boards, iron beams, and battery cell. A crafting component can be used to craft some advanced parts and machines, filters, rotors, computers, standard oxygen tank, high oxygen tank. So this does increase our oxygen tank and this increases our um, energy. Standard battery, when equipped, it extends your battery capacity to allow more time before running out of energy. Okay. So we definitely want to look at this, which is going to require copper plates and quartz. Standard oxygen tank is... We need a standard one first, so we need to go for that one before we can upgrade. Then we need filters, which is iron plates. So it looks like we need more iron. So I'm going to grab more of that iron. Even though I've got few ingots on me, I want to keep just this going and I want to have more. Because this fills up pretty fast. And I'm... Yeah, we also saw uh, an advanced miner. Advanced auto mining machine with support for conveyors. Place it near a large oil deposit to start mining. Consumes three megawatts. Iron plates, rods, gears, and cement, which we can do all of them. Uh, we've got all the, we've got a container now also. And a beacon. Emits a signal that you can follow on your map with your compass. Okay. I feel like we should put some wind turbines down. So let's get some iron plates and stuff. So again, let's just handcraft some of these. And then we can place a wind turbine down, which is kind of large, to be honest. Okay. New build recipe as well. We've got solar panels now. Nice. Do we need to do any form of power connection from this? It's producing 7 megawatts. Oh. Automation. Powering advanced machines. Hell yes. More advanced machines will require a lot of electricity. Each power source, such as wind turbine, is automatically connected to a local network that powers nearby machines. Beautiful. Okay. So, first of all, let's start aiming towards... Um, a, the next miner, right? So let's look at this. So we need more iron plates, more iron rods, gears, and cement, which is very, very doable. Then we'll get our first iron production here. So let's get some miners. Some miners, some ore. Head inside, get that handcrafted again. Okay, so I've managed to get the equipment together to actually place a miner down. So I just need to remove this. And then we should be able to put you down so it comes out the rear end <laughs> uh, of the actual miner itself so i guess we can just kind of what do i want to kind of put this i can guess i could put it behind the base right kind of place this here it ultimately has power so now we can already see this has got three the amount so i'm guessing iron stacks in 30s same as with everything else so stack quantity is 30 so at least this can give me a lot more iron this is consuming, was it 3 megawatts of power? I'll have to go into the build menu, right? Yeah, 3 megawatts of power. Um, we got a radar as well. Scans the planet for large ore deposits. Okay. And a water pump. Water... Oh! 
So there is fluids. And we've also got conveyor belts now as well. So maybe, as we kind of would do at the start of like Satisfactory Licks, say for example, uh, let's get a circuit board and three iron rods. No, 10 iron plates, sorry, for the storage container. And do some more handcrafting. <laughs> Which is, I feel like, something we're going to be doing quite earlier on in this game. For a little bit longer than we would in normal factory games. And then I want to make some plates. I want to get 10 of them. And then I want to put down a... Wait, it's one conveyor. One conveyor is one plate. But does that mean over a distance? It's Okay, so maybe one just means one. That is kind of long, to be honest. So I want to put a storage crate down. Where we can see the input, we can see the output. I would prefer, I would like the rotation to be a maybe 360 if I have to be a picky. And then we're just going to grab the U into the... I like how it does that little bounce thing. So what's the storage capacity in here? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Got 9 spaces. It's not so bad. So 9 times 30. There you go. You can do your maths for that. That's how much we can grab. Because this actually mines pretty quick. We can already see. Does this belt tell us how much it transfers? 60 resources per minute. So if this is transporting 60 resources per minute. And this is not going down. We already know this miner is doing 60 per minute, right? Um, it doesn't tell us in the item here. But yeah. So this miner does 60 um, iron ore per minute. So we can kind of start working out our calculations. And then we just want to grab as much iron ore as possible. I might even just take this out of here as well. We can kind of see, yeah, it's not even going up. So, yeah, 60 per minute. Oxygen critical. Uh-oh. <laughs> get me inside. Beautiful. And, yep, we're going to do some more handcrafting until we get a smelter. Which I think is what's going to be my next plan of action. Is maybe get a smelter down after the storage container. Um, and then start making that into ingots. Because all I should really need now is I'm probably going to remove that container just for it to... I just wanted to collect a little bit more than what it was in the uh, the miner. And then I'm just going to put it directly into a smelter. But I don't know if these smelters are going to be 30 per minute or what. Oh, a container version 2. Storage large quantities of items with two inputs for conveyors and 27 slots. Mmm, spicy. So we've got solar panels. I wonder if we have batteries for solar panels. I've also got lockers, storage. There's quite a few items straight off the get-go here. Windows, kitchen. We definitely need to look into a kitchen. Because my health is extremely low right now. We have a plant grower. Organic. Can I eat this? Or something? Can't do anything with that. So we can see the map here also. It's kind of detailed, to be honest. What's this? Is that a bunch of sulfur, possibly? Because look, we can, that's the cave there. So them little yellow specks, maybe the sulfur nodes... There's our little miner, and you can't see the one over here on the... Uh, it's kind of detailed. So maybe this is a different kind of biome, different resources, maybe different stuff. Um, but food-wise, where's the kitchen? Uh, I need two filters and two iron plates. Let me just get two iron plates. Oh, and for filters, I need, well, more iron plates. So let's just make more iron plates. Make some uh, filters. Okay, different handcrafting speeds over here and then i should be able to make uh the kitchen which i guess we can just throw at the end here can we do anything with this or is this just cosmetic this is just cosmetic isn't it how do i eat then when used it restores oxygen the oxygen gorge okay how do i eat food like i've got a food box here which is consumable items when used it restores your health but how do i make these Food boxes. When we start, yeah, yeah. So in here, base. So the base stuff is just cosmetic, except for this. Grows plants that can use for food an element that needs organic matter. Uh, must be placed inside a living compartment. Trash can assembly bench and a workbench. And inside here, there's nothing regarding food, right? Just to be clear, a food can. Consumable item. There we go. Okay, so we, yeah. So I can make food cans, which restores 20 health. Let's just make as many as these from the organic stuff we have. Then we're going to come back here every so often, right? Just to grab these out, make more food cans. Okay, right, so that's food sorted. We've also got... What else have I got in my inventory here? Is there a sort button? I don't think there is. 
because we have food, we have the oxygen, and we have uh, more food. Then we have all our resources. So next up, we want to look at a smelter, which requires more iron plates. So if you're wondering about performance as well, my PC specs are in the description. Uh, and I'm sitting at 60 FPS right now uh, with my PC specs, which is extremely low. So the game is not optimized. Obviously, I'm playing in 4K. But normally, I usually get around 150 FPS. Right now, I'm getting 60. I'm being capped at 60. And that's with me disabling the FPS limit. And I've got it to 144. So, yeah. It's not the most optimized and friendliest. Right, let's remove this container. Did I get all the items from that? I didn't. I just got scammed. Okay, so word of warning. Don't delete containers or any items because you don't get the items for them. Because all that iron ore has just gone kaput. So this is going to cost 3 megawatts, which will give us enough power. I'm going to consume an oxygen thing here. Um, and I need uh, belts now, right? I need a belt from you to you. And then inside the forge, we select the recipe. We're just going to go for iron ingots. So this is a 60 per minute forge. Yeah, 60 per minute on forge. Terraformation, transform the planet. The atmosphere has very low percentage of oxygen. Introduce some vegetation to create a sust sustainable source of oxygen. Okay, so use the build menu to create a water pump. It must be placed on the coast. Okay, so water pump is there. We just need to make some rotors. And how do we make them? But first, I'm just going to put that down there. And then uh, connect that with the conveyor belt. So we can get the iron plates. Uh, sorry, the iron ingots to go into there. So at least I can make some, you know, items from on the crafting bench and stuff. So rotors require cable and rubber belts. And then rubber belts are made from rubber. And rubber is made from organic. Okay, so we need to grab some of you. Which will give me some rubber from the plants. And then I can make some rubber belts, which are, are, I need two of them. And then for me to make rotors, I need cable. And I don't think I have enough copper ingots. I don't. Maybe I should put a scanner down. To maybe look at scanning for a copper node somewhere. Okay, make a few more copper, make a few more iron wire, and now we should be able to make the rotors. Wait. To make a pump, did I need two? Oh, I needed two. Finding this copper is low-key Annoy annoying. Sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Okay, so I've been on a little bit of an exploration now and gone through two oxygen tanks and I've not seen a copper node. I've ran over there, I've run up there. Either I'm being blind, just being a spoon, but I've managed to grab as much copper as I can from the land, which I've basically nine, which is not that much. Um, sorry, I have 22, sorry. That's nine is what's in my inventory. That's another stack. Um, but I've got how many now? 11? Um, I definitely want to make more wire with this. I think it's the only thing we can make with copper right now. So I'm going to make as much as I can with that. And then we can make another rotor. Oh, God, I need more rubber belts. Rubber belts. I can make one more, which means I need to grab more of this. I'm okay for food for now also. Okay, now I can make another rotor, which means I can now make another pump. But I don't think I'm going to have enough power. Because the pump is going to cost us 4 megawatts. And if I can make some more... Can I mix any more iron rods? Right now, I can. I'm going to put down another one, another wind turbine. Let's get another one of them. Wait, and how much are they making again? Was it 6? 7? Okay, so we've got 14 megawatts to play with. I'm not seeing on the UI as well so any form of indication of how much power we have. But maybe there's a console or something. Because uh, we do have this electrical box here on the wall. But it doesn't state anything regarding how much megawatts we have or what we're consuming or any statistics or anything. But let's put this pump down. Oh my god, this is big. So I guess we could just put you down here. There we go. 
Use the build menu to create a tree greenhouse. Okay, so we need 10 glass pane and 10 organic. And to make glass, we need quartz, right? So to make that, we need silica. And silica... Oh, we can easily make that. So let's make a handful of silica. And then I can make some glass panes. Which I need 10 of. And then I need some organic from here. And then I should be able to place down this. But do I want to attach it to... Oh, it's got an, it's got an output. Oh... Okay, so it doesn't have an input. It does have the pipe, actually. So let's put the... I guess for now, just for this little demo, we'll stick it in in here. And then we'll just get a pipe and connect it to there. So we have water pipes, which require iron plates. We've got a pipe hub. Connects several water pipes together into a large water network. So let's just get an iron, plate, uh, an iron pipe and connect that to there. That wiggle is so weird. And then this is going to give me maybe organic. Yeah, it's going to give me more organic stuff. Start terraforming the planet with a ground fertilizer to create vegetation. Okay, so we can make that. And is this going to require water as well? It does have a pipe input. So we are going to create a junction. So let's just place you there. Let's remove this pipe real quick. Uh, let's put a junction down. Uh, I guess I've got to put that on ground level. Remove that pipe. You've reached the end of this demo. Wait. Are you are you serious? Are you, is that that's it? That's all I got to do. Can I not build any build anything else? Is it, um, is that a tsunami? Wait. I must... Wait, I don't have any iron plates. Did it remove... There is a tsunami coming. Quick, I need a place for a thumbnail. I need a place for a thumbnail. What, what's good enough? <laughs> Maybe get a shot of the base in there? I don't, I, I don't know. Here, do I have a photo mode? <laughs> is there a photo mode? <laughs> A wave detected. That is absolutely huge. This is going to wipe out my base, isn't it? So I can't continue. I guess thanks for watching. And remember to check out my other content. And I wish there was more time we could have played with this for this demo. I don't know how long the demo was. Maybe an hour long? Or is it when you reach a certain... I think that is huge. It looks kind of badass though, don't it? right? Well, it's making me float into the sky. I can still run around though, look at me. I'm still running. Jesus. I just washed all my stuff away. Did I cause this? I think I caused this, right? Did I already change the planet?